Hi, this is Tuesday Adams. I'm your host. Um, this is my recovery vlog, day number 95. Recovery vlog, day number 95. I'm Tuesday Adams. I just woke up. It's like 5, it's, um, no, 6 something. It's not 6.30 yet because my alarm hasn't went off. But I had this dream last night, okay? <laughs> Let me uh, tell you what my dream was. Okay. Okay, last night I dreamed that, um, that I was, um, getting ready to go somewhere, okay, to get my medicine, okay, um, because I, and my kids were with me, <laughs> my kids were with me, and, um, um, and, uh, my mom was driving, but she, she, um, <laughs> okay, so I, I went to go get my medicine, okay, but I was with my mother, and my son were with me, my three sons were with me, and I needed money, and there was just, I found this, I found a bunch of money in this machine, and I put it in my, in my, um, <laughs> in my purse, Okay, and then um, I had I had some more money. Okay, that was in the trunk of some 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 like um, it was it was a some lady's uh, basket. Okay, and I found like a bunch of money in there. <laughs> okay, so I started going through the basket, and there was clothes, and there was um, beautiful clothes, stuff, stuff that would fit me. Okay, and the next thing you know. I was at my house, my old house where my grand, my mom lived, okay, where we lived when, when I was, when, and, and where my mom lived and my kids and I lived, okay, we were back there. My car was there, and everything this lady had stolen was there in the house, plus all my stuff. And it was all mine, and, and I had noticed the lady had just, like, up and left, and I thought, what? wonder where that lady went. Well, I, I bet it, the police came and got her and took her to jail. Okay. They came and took that lady to jail because she had robbed my house, my money. And she had, she had money. It was my money, but I didn't know it. And it was coming back to me. It was in a machine. And then there was just like a, like a basket of money and clothes and all kinds of stuff. And, um, it was mine. It was it was really mine. In my dream, I wasn't. I was just going through it. It wasn't really mine. In my dream, I was in the beginning. It wasn't mine. In the end, it was mine. It was actually my stuff because it was the lady that I had stolen from me, my house, my car, my kids, my clothes, everything that, you know, I had and everything my mom had. She had plus everything that now everything that she had was mine because she was gone, gone forever. They took her away. The police came and took her away. And I was on my way to get my medicine. And I woke up and I was like, wow. Wow. Seriously? I like that dream. Uh, but my mom is dead. My mom has, has been passed away. And um, she's not in a nice place. But it, that dream was a beautiful place. But it was, it was really in my house. In my house in Delville that I stole. <laughs> And then the money and the clothes, and that really did happen to me. So they, in my dream, they came and took her away and took her to jail. And I got all back in my dreams. That's not really to look forward to. If that's true, that is, that is an awesome prophecy for the future. That's something I've wanted for a long time. Because if that really does happen, that would be justice. <laughs> I would love for that to happen before I pass away. <laughs> that would really make me happy to get my car back and my cars back and my, my house back, my clothes back, my jewelry, <laughs> my money. Yeah. And then all that stuff that she had, um, it was mine because she was never going to come back and get it because she was never going to allowed to come back, but she stole it. <laughs> Everything that she had belonged to me anyway, because it was with my money that she bought it. <laughs> so they decided it was always it was all mine anyway I got to keep everything everything she had bought <laughs> for her <laughs> it was all mine <laughs> and the money <laughs> wow that was a good dream I can't believe that was an awesome dream I mean I have some really weird weird feelings lately like I'm 
I've been weirded out. Like I thought I was gonna die. Like when I w- when I woke up this morning, I was like, I hope that doesn't mean I'm going to my mom's place because my sons were there. I was like, surely not. My sons aren't dead, <laughs> you know. But my mom is, you know. But we did live in the house, so you know. And I thought, I thought, no, no. It gave me a fine for my fight back, you know. Like I, at first, I was like. And the last couple of days, I was like, well, if I die, you know, I have to accept it. You know, I need to accept it. I can't go crazy. And, you know, I'm 53 years old. She died at 51, you know, and um, she overdosed. But she she had lung cancer. She was going to die anyway, you know, but she had she OD'd. My mom did. And, um, you know, but she was going to die anyway. And she knew she was going to die. I didn't know she was sick. Nobody ever told me until after she died. She didn't want me to know, evidently. I don't know. Don't feel sorry for me. (laughs) I'm not going to get any better. It's not going to do you any good. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was because about two years before that, I begged her to quit smoking. (laughs) Because I told her, I said, something's wrong with you, Mom, because she couldn't get better. She kept getting pneumonia. And her sinuses were so bad, they were great, that she just couldn't quit coughing and hacking. And I told her, I said, Mom, you need to quit smoking. At least change those brand, that brand to say, I feel like you're going to die of cancer if you don't. And a couple, day, a couple years later, she was gone. Matter of fact, it wasn't even a year. <laughs> that was, I told her in 2001, and she died in 2002. Yeah, she was, yeah, diagnosed in July and she died in November okay but that was about the July or June when I told her that of the year before so I feel like somebody's getting ready to die and I was afraid it would be me and I have to make an okay an exception for that I have to be like well if it happens it happens you know I have to accept it even though things aren't right my kids aren't back nothing's fixed it's all based on lies. Everything that happened was based on I never got the truth out. I never got to retrieve back, you know, repo everything that was stolen. They robbed me. My family robbed me. My friends robbed me. My husband robbed me and then forced my kids to rob me too. <laughs> so I went my whole life with everything that I love being stolen and taken away from me. And blamed blamed it on me. No, I'm not. Don't do anything wrong. Deserve all that. Just never had any love, besides my children, and they had to ruin that too. <laughs> and I've I've never really had a friend that counted me in because they liked me or wanted to help me. And that's all I ever do is try to help people. I have a doctor's spirit in me because so I like to heal people, heal people, help people, and I like to see people do better. I like to do things to make people better, to help people. And I'm not a nurse because I can't, I'm not, I'm not the kind with the bedside manner, but I'm sweet enough, you know, but I'm just, you know, um, you know, I, I basically would, I, w- I would like to be in the doctor. I would, if I'm a, if I'm going to go to college to be a counselor, I will end up a psychiatrist because I won't stop there. I won't be happy with just be counseling. But I, w- I only have a year and a half to go, and I would like to do that. And then I still want to go. It's 6.30 now. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would still like to study law and be a lawyer. I'm 53 years old, and they ruined and robbed me of my whole life. Man, I took Latin and French when I was in high school. And somebody made sure they intentionally set me up with some predator circle so that I would get pregnant and taken out of the ring that I was getting ready to, to be married to and to get in, but to be the doctor's and lawyer's ring. I was dating a lawyer's son, who's a lawyer now. He's a lawyer now. I was dating him when somebody really flipped and just took it all away from me because they were that jealous because I was taking French. I had taken the Latin of the year before, and I was already going that way. I was going to be a lawyer anyway. I got set up with somebody on welfare who was a predator and a, and a serial killer. 